So Derek Wolf, apparently he been keeping his ears to the streets on Twitter and he let it be known like, hey, I fully intend on coming back this season. Because there was an article that was put out that said that Derek Wolf he was actually considering retirement. Because we all know that he just last year, he was all kinds of beat up. It was just rough. Uh, I remember they, them saying that he had like this back injury uh, during the off season and he was trying to get right from that. Uh, and then he got designated to return from injured reserve at one point in the season. So it's like, all right, we're getting Derek Wolf back. We're getting some reinforcements. And then I think they said he, he had like one practice. And it was like, okay. And then we never saw him again. Never saw him at practice again. I remember reading Jeff Zrebig's tweets about it. Him saying that Derek Wolf didn't even look close to being ready to come back. And we saw how true that was because we just simply didn't see him. We didn't see him. Um, so it, then in January, I think he had the, uh, the, the hip surgery and it's like, it was like, Ooh, I, I don't know about this one. So he was also somebody that I have been saying is on the list of potential bonuses for the Ravens. Cause you got some guys like a Ronnie Stanley, hopefully you get him back, but it's a bonus if you do. And he stays Jawan James, if he even remains on the roster and you can get him to play, that's a bonus if you can. Derek Wolf is another one. Um, he's had injury problems with the Ravens. Uh, it, was, it was rough last year. Very, very rough. Uh, but he did let it be known. He said, no, all that stuff about me possibly retiring. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I fully intend. Not, oh, I might come back to see. Oh, no, I'm, I'm working on that. No, no, no. He said, I fully intend on coming back this season. Now, uh, one thing to think about, is his roster spot that safe with the Baltimore Ravens? Reason I ask, because Ravens got to see what life was like without uh, a Derek Wolf. So your best ability is availability. And when you're not available, your team gets to see, OK, how good or how bad can they be in your absence? Um, and with Derek Wolf, if he remains with the team, I know his cap hits nothing crazy. If they release him, um, then they don't really gain anything. If it's pre-June 1st, if it's post-June 1st, then I believe they can gain about um, two mil, I believe. Don't quote me on that, though. It's somewhere around there. But you release him pre-June 1st with that designation, then you got more dead money than you would as far as cap saving. So you would, it wouldn't really make sense to release him with the pre-June 1st designation. But again, it's not even a guarantee that he even gets released. He said he's trying to come back. So we'll see what happens. Because, you know, with Ravens, their defensive line, again, it, there are a lot of vacancies. Uh, it's a lot of vacancies there right now. Uh, it's a lot of openings. Um, it's like the, the Ravens defensive line right now, they're having a job fair. And it looks like um, Eddie... Uh, from the from the Bears, uh, he's gonna be the first one. Eddie Goldman, he's gonna be the first one uh, to apply at that job fair. But it's it's wide open right now, so we'll see how they address it. Uh, we'll see how Derek Wolf does in his recovery, uh, and hopefully it just is smooth. There ain't no setbacks, there ain't no drawbacks, there ain't none of that stuff, uh, and he'll be good to go. So love y'all team. Keep it clean. Appreciate y'all keeping up with all the updates. Appreciate y'all watching all the videos. Appreciate y'all supporting, subscribing, telling your friends, your families, retweeting the videos, all that good stuff. Thank you. I love y'all and we out.